Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of E4 as Elodia. We have successfully reformed, that's good. And we're trying to save up the money. Necessary to, like, do good things. Or bad things, whatever you, however you view it. Um, yeah. And we are preparing to fight certain rebels. Mm, they're all, yeah, these provinces are all coastal deserts. I'm gonna go and sit in the one Highlands province he has. If I can. Oh, no, no time for that. They are already risen up. Oh, okay, there's not a fort there. Okay, go up there. Let's coalesce and attack and hope we get to them before they spark. Go! You decide to go to war with Yemen. Yemen is allied to Shamar. Hasa is on your side. I saw Persia there, so I was kind of wondering, but that's definitely been another war. Yeah, in that case, sure. Sure, Hejaz will be, be part of that war. Oh, and I completely forgot my mission already. Um, <laughs> didn't take me long. Persia, I was supposed to improve relations with you. Um, also, let's try to kill our subjects, rebels. I mean, we do have the four shock general. I completely forgot about that too. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm on your side here. Uh. This is costing us a bit in manpower, but that's gonna be okay. Right, they have a maintained fort, so they, they didn't get nationalism anyway. That's good. Now we just have to help them kill the rebels. Oh yeah, I shouldn't do that, but I'll... Oh boo. Okay, fine. You move away. Uh, you move to here-ish. Let's see, 1462. Okay, so it's gonna take a while longer. Um... That. That's gonna keep your missionary going. Good. You're gonna hate our guts, I know, but you'll get over it. In the meantime, you're gonna go back there. Good. Uh, actually, no. You are gonna go back there. You're gonna go to Davaro, or at least down there. In the Ethiopian army is down there somewhere. Yeah, and you're definitely going to have some unrest issues here that I'll have to help you with. Now we're paying for reinforcements, right? Yeah. We're almost done with the rooting out corruption, though. Thank goodness for that. Uh, yeah, we probably want to focus on... Getting some claims on it all. That's gonna upset Adjidan, I know that, but that's okay. They, they 
Next one in line, that, that's probably more of a problem. Okay, things down there is a bit of a stalemate. Oh, if we were lucky, this guy would die. Because then he might not be a militarist and he might actually become peaceful with us. But he's definitely taken Ragusa. Negraponte, Istria, Dalmatia, Dubrovnik, Augsburg, oh my goodness, Augsburg! So you had military access through Austria, fantastic. I can hope that someone would declare war on them, but with their alliance web, I find that incredibly unlikely. Making money again, because we have finally rooted out all the corruption, right? Yes. Just gonna move that to full. We are at war. So, what's another war? Nothing I tell you. Okay, there we go. The knights paid off all their money, yeah. Augsburg did the same. They're still above the coalition limit, but uh, not for much longer. And they're probably gonna, yeah, they're gonna beeline for the Mamluks. Are we offering military access to anyone at the moment? We do offer it to the Mamluks. I don't think we want to do that. I do want to do this though. And they do have an army down there. I might as well put the my leader in charge of that one. Uh no. I don't need your troops. Curiously enough, I don't need your troops. Okay, our spy master died. We wiped out their army. Hmm. Can we even afford her? I need the dip I need the diplomatic points. So, okay, fine. And diplomatic reputation isn't bad. Yeah, Hedjaz, you're gonna kill them, that's fine. Don't think you're gonna need us. And I can't actually reach that area anyway. Uh, dear ships, like, group up. Would be nice. Oh yeah, and I don't need troops here. Port level 1, so we can split off everything. Except you guys, perfect. Let's see. Yeah, you're trying to missionary, aren't you? You bastard. Let's see, where's your capital? Down there, okay. You already converted one. Oh, you bastard. I could vassalize Ethiopia. <laughs>
could force vassalize them. But I don't think I dare. I don't think I dare. succeeding. I wish I could see how quickly it was going. Hey! Okay, Shamar disappeared. Oh, boo. So our king got at something negative. At least it was his last trait. I'm gonna lose a bit of money. So, if we really want to move to, e to Alexandria, which we could, we need... 377 admin points. The advantage is, we would immediately get the autonomy to Flawed. We would be in a coastal center of trade, flatland province, farmland. It would be a lot easier and a lot cheaper to develop up. So the next institution would be a lot easier to get, which is printing press, I believe. Oh, and I forgot my ships. Oops. Oopsie. All in all, it would be good for us, so... I probably should start that war with Adal. And we have claims on how many provinces? Two of them. And it will take me how long to get the next one? 30. We're gaining how much points? Okay, I, I'm pretty certain that this missionary will convert the province before I'm able to fabricate another claim. So yeah. This will sort out the interim area, finally. I'm gonna try to butter up to uh, Ajuram just in case I can keep them out of the coalition and out of stuff. And come to think of it, that's probably a good idea for Oman as well. I could raise war taxes, but I don't think that's going to be in our advantage to do. Oh wait, he was a siege specialist. Keep him there. Oh yeah, we probably have to start fabricating on the Mamluks again too. When did the truce with the Mamluks expire? That's 1550. We currently have two claims. And they'll expire when? 63. And 63. Okay, let's see. The ones further south, Pate. 30 aggressive expansion, yeah, okay. 26. Not overly terrible. If I declare war on the Mamluks, I can't bring Tunis. They have one claim. That claim is going to expire when? 1566. 
And you're also a militarist, that's a problem. Um, that's the end of Ethiopia. As soon as our diplomat is ready here. Hopefully they have some money. I would love to repay my loans and start saving up for colonialism. I mean, 500 ducats. That's gonna take us a while to accommodate. And meanwhile, we have to save up points anyway, so... As far as we're able to. Yikes, okay. Well, that's gonna take too long. Um, so, okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. You first, Ethiopia. I want you gone. And you're not going to have a core on Angot. And you're going to pay, pay me all your money, which wasn't much. Let's see how many points. That's three with Adal. We don't care. Ethiopia's going to be gone. In Mamluks, we don't care. Yemen is probably going to be gone too. And Adjadan. Nah. That's fine. It doesn't actually say that the Ottomans will gain points here. So I'm going to hope that they don't get points. We are, of course, going to have to core this, but... So be it. And yeah, we're going to raise autonomy. improve relations with the Ottomans again. I'm going to try to stay friendly with them until uh, their claim expires. Well, that was until 1550. No, 1557. No, that's that claim. Oh, right. They don't have a claim on us. They just hate our guts. But they did claim that province, so if you take that, that's gonna, probably going to be even more upset with us. We no longer have a royal marriage with these guys. <sighs> Normally I'd just cancel their lines and kill them, but uh, they have 5,000 troops and that's actually kind of <laughs> kind of useful. Uh, we are paying a diplomatic slot for it. I don't know. You know what, we're gonna keep it uh, on the vague chance we actually get them in a union. Oh, okay, so you only share our dynasty. Boo. Oh well. I guess we aren't prestigious enough. I suppose we could claim their throne and all that kind of nonsense, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. And yeah, we're taking more attrition than we should. I don't need the cavalry, my goodness. There you go, the others are stealing money. Or trying to. And of course he's succeeding over here on his own, so he doesn't need me. I think we're gonna wait with devouring Adal till the end of the year. Maybe. How many points are you above the coalition limit? Exactly at 50 now. So yes, if I take any <laughs> rest of the Mamluks, the Ottomans are definitely gonna coalition me. It would be awesome if I could somehow swing an alliance with them, but they are 
incredibly hostile. And even if we had that, we had the diplomatic relations issue. Let's have a look. If I eat at all alive. Okay, so this tooltip doesn't tell me, but I'm almost certain that the Ottomans will get some aggressive uh, some aggressive expansion out of this. I'm almost certain. But because they have so much positive relations, they won't actually uh, coalition against us. The Mamluks, we don't really care about if they coalition us, that's fine. Arjidan is a bit more of a problem, but I think we can handle that. So yeah, gone. Did we say Volo? Yes, thank goodness. We are, of course, going to have to raise autonomy. So we have two choices. We can continue moving south and expand. Uh, we'd have to fight all three of them now, and they're, they're actually quite powerful. Or we can wait. Wait for aggressive expansion in this area to calm down. I think we're gonna wait for a while. And I do think I want to focus up here, even though that's gonna be risky. I mean, the Ottomans are gonna hate our guts. Actually, no, you guys do have one province here with a high supply limit. Nope, I don't, so fine. Uh, go to the coast, we're gonna merge you and split you up and do and stay near the rebels. We are also gonna cut army maintenance because we don't need that, actually. You go to this province, you go there, and just wait. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of waiting, I think. I'm just gonna check, I'm almost certain that the Ottomans got a aggressive expansion. Yes, they got two points. Iraq declared independence from the Mamluks. Right, they did have some uh, folks over there earlier. And okay, you decided it's time to demand more territory. Of course you did. And well, that's a problem. Uh, we don't want to give you too much either. Um, if we give you this province, that's going to make you happy. And you're not going to have too much influence. Uh, on Asosa. Yeah, do that actually. I mean, I don't want to be upset with him. Get, or rather get him to be upset with me. Though killing him would certainly be an option too. Yeah, so now we're going to save up money. We're going to try to repay our debts. And then save up money for colonialism. Or at least try. And we're going to save up points to, for the move to Alexandria. And otherwise we're just going to save up points for tech. Good lord, yeah, that's expensive. So I have two choices. I could embrace it right now. Fifteen sixty-three. Yeah, that's gonna arg. 
I can take two more loans. Oh, you're right, we're paying for corruption too, aren't we? Yes. Colonization, yeah, that's what's expected. I just approves. They're now stronger, Hope hopefully they will be. And suddenly you kind of hate my guts. Oh, right, that's aggressive expansion only. Um... Increase the control of the spice. Oh, interesting mission. Okay, spice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Can we see a trade goods somewhere? The trade was oh, trade value. No, no, no. Uh, trade goods. Yes. Spices, 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 spices. No, uh, it's not exactly doable for us. We'd have to fight Oman. We'd have to fight Oman. Who suddenly are interested in an alliance with us. They don't hate our guts anymore. They're actually afraid of us. They're also allied to Persia, so... Interesting that they're suddenly willing to be my ally. Despite my numerous... Oh, right, of course, I'm no longer uh, ally to Adjuran. So you'd actually... Ooh. And you're ally to both of my allies. Well, I don't expect that to last for more than a few days now. Um... Let's try the manpower recovery. And I'm not gonna... Al <sighs> oh, am I? That's another plus one diplomatic point. That's expensive. I don't know. Aman, how strong are you? You have 14,000 troops. You're not exactly a weak nation. Oh, I should have abandoned Makuria in favor of you, probably. Yeah, let's hold on for now. That's certainly an interesting option. You guys are at 33 points, you actually don't care. Uh. Uh, Venice is thrown in this. Ah, I see. Venezia is occupied. Oh my goodness, he took Venice itself. Is it the Mamluks' arrival? Good. That means you're still actually willing. And only because you're threatened. But there's no way for me to attack you because this... <laughs> they're my friends too. Um... Your 14,000 troops are actually quite potent. And he would be willing to fight Adridan for us. That's going to be expensive in diplomatic points, though. Um, I agree with it. Let's do it. Let's try. How long until I can annex that? That's going to take a while. I think that's actually worth it. Let's strengthen our web. Uh, what? What? Uh, okay, so... <laughs> okay, never mind. So they're threatened, so they're willing to take the alliance, but as soon as we're allied, they become hostile. Instead of threatened. Well, that means the alliance is going to break. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Um, yeah, you would be willing to join. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, there's no way for me to maintain that alliance. Uh, unless he decides not to demand this kind of land. Ah, boo. Okay. 
Good, another convert. Let's start with... Yeah, let's just work down the line. Ah oh, well, it was worth, worth a shot. And now, of course, they're probably gonna switch to Threatened again. Maybe. Or are you gonna stay hostile? Well, if he declares war on us, two of his allies are gonna be on our side, so I don't really fear him. Oh, there goes Ragusa. Yeah, full annexation. And pretty much just in time for his truce with the Mamluks. And the Mamluks... Well, the Mamluks actually do have a few friends. Not particularly strong friends. Botan and Klemken. We'll see what happens there, though. Uh, but that's going to be another time. I think I'm going to take a short break here. And we'll see what we can do next time. Thank you for watching.